Okay, we got all the cars stripped. Okay, there's a few places like right in here we're gonna get that soda blasted. Okay, because it's just too hard to get to and they got to soda blast the bottom anyway. And they're gonna go ahead and soda blast this, so I'll uh, tape that off so they can soda blast that and make our life easier. But uh, what we got here is we got the car, it's stripped down. I went over the whole car with my DA sander. You can see the front end is cleaned up very, very nice. But it's still got a little bit of surface rust on it. Now, the way that we're going to kill that surface rust, and we're, doing, we're not going to wash this whole car. We're just going to spot clean it. Do you see what I'm saying? Because the car really came out nice. I mean, I don't even know if you can see it here, but... Okay, that's what your finish needs to look like when you DA your car down after you strip it with aircraft stripper. Okay? If I was going to strip that car, if that car would have been soda blasted, we'd have to wash the whole car off with vinegar water, but we're not going to do that. Now what the vinegar water does for us, what the vinegar water is going to do, it's going to uh, work as an acid and eat the rust away, okay? It's basically the same thing as using metal prep that you purchase at the store, but uh, it's pennies on the dollar to use the uh, vinegar water. Now once you wash it with vinegar water, you got to rinse it off with clean water and let it dry. After it's dry, you got to wipe all the residue off and you're ready to uh, prime. But uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and spot wash it, okay? Uh, we're going to get some of the inside of the car and then we're going to get the front nose of it. And I believe that's all we're going to do. So let me uh, yeah, walk I don't know if you can see me in the camera, but uh, it's really not about me. It's about what we're doing here. Now, what you're looking at here, this is the, the rear section of the car. The owner had stripped it down to bare metal, but there was some surface rust underneath because on Volkswagens, on the interior of the Volkswagens, they do not apply primer to the car. They just put the paint straight on the bare metal. Yes, that's right, believe it or not, okay? So, uh, he stripped it down. Now, what we gotta do, we gotta wash this out because he left a lot of residue on the uh, metal. And uh, we'll get under the dash a little bit here and then we're gonna get the front nose. But let me show you what I got here. I got, what this is, this is just your cheap, inexpensive, uh, $1.29 a gallon distilled white vinegar. Okay, and what you want to do, you want to mix that two, uh, two parts water or three parts water to one part vinegar, okay? You don't want it very potent, you don't want it very uh, strong, okay? So use one part of your uh, vinegar to two parts of the water and you'll be fine because this stuff works very fast, especially when the sun is out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, I think the owner, I don't know, we're going to have to do something about this, but I'm going to go ahead and clean these off. But uh, one of these are rotted out over here, but I'm going to clean them off anyway and we'll see what happens. So all you got to do is just take your scotch Bright and just go ahead and clean it up. Just like if you were scotch brighting down for paint. And this is very important to do, okay, this is a very important step. If you strip your car down and you don't get all the residue off, you have to do this. Okay, and you're gonna see a big difference here when I get done with it. Okay. You can see that the residue is uh, taking effect. Okay, you, know, you wanna. Fuck me, man. Damn, that's a fucking bitch. Okay, so we got the inside done. We're gonna let that sit so it'll uh, take effect. And then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and get the front end. The front end had a lot of rust on it, and the rust that was on here was a curd. Basically, I'm going to be honest with you, okay, it was a curd because they took a cutting torch or whatever kind of 
torch they took and they heated that up to get that Bondo out. And from the heat, okay, from the heat, it had rusted. Because now, besides, uh, you know, doing the body work that's already got to be done to it, now it's probably warped and we have to do more body work. Okay, so I take my scotch bright just like you see here. And we're going to be very careful with this. We don't want to get the water in uh, grease. And as you're wiping it, you can actually see the rust disappearing. You can actually see it okay, turning black and fading away into the sunlight. All the way down under here, see? Make sure that I get all up under there. Because that's very important. Down out. And if you're one of those guys that, uh, you know, uh, is real quick to the stick and wants to get it done now, this really isn't 100%, 99, 1,000 million times percent that you have to do this to make it perfect. You can actually go back and sand it out, you know, take your wire wheels and do all that. But what this does, this actually helps cure the rust and stop the rust problem. Okay? Just like metal prep, but you're saving yourself tons of money. And I got this face in the sun because I want it to dry so I can wash it off quickly, see? Okay, that's basically done the way that I want it to do. And if you watch it there while I clean my bucket out, you'll see that it changes colors. Okay, what you saw there, you saw that change colors, and you see how, okay, if you look at the rust, all right, you see how it turned the rust black. Okay, see how black it is right here? I'm gonna let that sit on there for about 15 minutes or so, just so it'll penetrate in and it'll eat that. See how it actually ate? If you look right here, you can see where it ate the rust out, okay? And then we come back here, and you can see that uh, just by looking in the back area, to me, it already looks cleaner than it was, okay? I mean, uh, if you were here in person, you'd say the same thing. So what I gotta do now, I went ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the process of what I just did, but I'm, gonna, I'm just only gonna use clean water to do it, and then I'll rinse it off with a hose, okay? And it'll be done. And uh, then we'll take a good look at it right before we get ready to epoxy prime it and see, what's, see what we got. But that's a, way, that's, a, that's a way that you can clean your metal off, okay? Uh, if it's got surface rust on it, you know, now we're not talking surface rust been on there for 30 years, okay? That's not going to work. If it's surface rust from moisture under your bodywork or surface rust from sitting around for several months, that's a good way to get rid of it and be gone for good, okay? Uh, we did a lot of work to this car already and we ain't even started. We ain't even started and we've done already done a week's worth of work to our 1973 Carmen Ghia, okay? Off-frame restoration. This is Pete. Take it easy. We'll see you later. I gotta wash that shit off and uh, get the fucking thing in epoxy primer. Okay, uh, this is Pete. We got our car back in the shop and uh, we're getting ready to go to lunch. That basically is what we're doing. Uh, I've been working on this car pretty much all week, okay? Uh, today's Friday and we will have it in the epoxy primer today, okay? But before we do that, 
Uh, what we got here is the dash actually has a pad that goes on the top of this car. And then there's a pad that goes underneath and then it used to have wood grain across here. Now I've already took my time and I went ahead and uh, cleaned all that uh, surface rust off the best I can from the moisture that collects underneath there. But there's still uh, rust on the dash and I don't want that to come back in any way possible. At least not in my lifetime or, you know, a long time anyway. So what I got here, I got, it's called RustCon, okay? If you've watched any of my other videos, you've already seen it. Uh, this is a sprayable professional rust treatment. Now what this does, it turns, it chemo, chemically destroys, I'm going to go ahead and read this instead of act like I, uh, you know, memorized it. Okay, what it does, it chemically destroys rust, converts rust to a tough black poly, poly, polymer, prime seals and protects metal surfaces. Compatible with most paints, top coats. And this works very, very well with uh, all types of surface rust that you might come across. No, it's not. Once again, when I say surface rust, I'm talking mild to medium surface rust. I'm not talking something that's been on your car for 35 years, okay, and is pretty much basically that's the car, rusted. Okay, we're talking surface rust that has applied over the years underneath other surfaces, such as our dash. Okay, so what I do is I'm going to shake this up, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, around all these grooves where I can't get, see, I'm going to go ahead and just spray that on there. Okay, uh, there we go. Now the owner requested that he wants this dash painted, that's another reason I'm doing this. Okay. And I'm going to get around our box right here. There we go. Let's see where I'm getting right in there. Up in here. Come over here. Right here where this air vent was. Around the speaker right here was pretty rough. And over here. See? Just like that. So, we'll let that dry. Uh, We'll come back later, and we don't even have to sand that. It'll automatically do the trick it's supposed to do. We still have to wipe off the residue from our uh, uh, vinegar wash. And this car is pretty much basically ready to prime. We'll see you when we get ready to do that. And uh, hoping you're learning something out there. I really, really hope you are. Okay, even just if you learn one little thing off of watching the video, it's well worth it. Even if you watch, even if you've heard something that will fix the problem that you're having, it's well worth the wait and well worth the experience to watch somebody like me show you all the secrets, the tricks, the trades, and take it into detail like I do. There's a lot of videos out there that like to cut and splice and, okay, I'm going to wash it off. Okay, we washed it off. Now I'm going to uh, wipe it off. Okay, we wiped it off. You see what I'm saying? Okay. So, you know, I'm not making no money on these videos. I don't want to make any money on them. Okay, my friend Pete's here to help you. Okay, that's why I put them up on the internet for you to watch. Thank you, have a nice fucking day. Take it easy, and uh, be happy. That's all you can do in life. So if I get out this motherfucker. Oh, look at me down right here.